And you know what scares me the worst about all this, okay? All right, my family doesn't want me there, obviously, at my daughter's celebration for life. There are people out there that I used to have as friends, like they were family to me, my 12-step family have been sending me hate messages and harassing me all through this. I have not been responding. I've been blocking. Again, it's the internet. Nothing is private. I wasn't even supposed to know about my daughter's celebration for life. Before I got injured, the message I was receiving from all of my friends and family is how wonderful I was. They were concerned about our marriage. You know, we were having problems. My husband and I have been having issues. People have them in their marriages. I am terrified of what has been said or what they supposedly think I did to deserve to be treated like this. What is it they think I did that was so bad? And did I do something that awful? It would be nice if somebody would just talk to me. <laughs> I don't search the crowd for friendly faces now. I search the crowd for faces that are going to be an issue for me. People that want to hurt me. That they've wanted to see me hurt. Last time I checked, I was dog sitting and babysitting and making special decorations and giving pedicures and manicures and and helping people put their pets to sleep and 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 taking them food when they were sick and going to their homes and and helping them when they weren't well and and being there in the middle of the night when they needed me. I was doing everything I could. I was broke. Still broke. That's why I'm stuck. Money. Okay. I mean, seriously, now I'm sitting here because I don't have the money. I have the willpower. So I guess we're just going to ride this out. Hope I didn't kill anybody when I got injured. I don't know. <laughs>